Okay, so 9.2 part one. Uh, I'm just going to do this because the other video already encompasses a little of this. So I'm just going to, the one that says for, well, it'll say 9, 2, 5, and 6 now. Um, so the idea is this. If you're going to make a decision, let's say you have a decision to make, you're going to go, well, you go right or left. Cool. And let's just say that it's equal chance you go either way. Nice. All right. Right or left. Nice. All right. Cool. And then after you do that, then you can, um, um, I don't know, you can, uh, I don't know, honk your horn or not honk your horn. Sure, honk, not honk, I don't know. And honk, not honk. If you look at it, you've got four possible outcomes. You could have gone left and done this. You could have gone left and not honk. You could have gone right and honked, right and not honk. There it is. These are called probability trees. Sometimes referred to as decision trees. They're kind of cool for a while until they get gross, okay? So like if you're like, uh, Jay, is it true that your brother has eight kids? It is. Yeah. So there's his first kid. It could have gone boy or girl. Cool. Nice. And then here's his second kid. You see? Could have gone boy or girl again. So you could add a boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. And there's four outcomes. You could have gone both boys, boy and a girl, girl and a boy, or boy and a girl. Or girl and a girl, rather. And then, wait, his third kid would look like this. So there's eight possible outcomes. And then two more off of that. You're like, Jay, if you go out to 2 to the 8th power, that's 512. That's right. I'm not going out that far. So one could see where this gets ugly in a hurry, but it's nice for visualization purposes. Uh, the idea being is, is that each time you make a decision, I had two choices here. I've got two choices here. 2 times 2 is 4 outcomes. I've got two more choices. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 possible outcomes, and so on and so on and so on. <clears throat> you could roll a dice. 1, 2, 3. Nice job, stupid. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can roll a second dice. And there's 36 total outcomes there, okay? Um, from here, we move into the fundamental counting principle and... Um, permutations and combinations which is covered in the other video i just wanted to mention this because your book spends it more uh, i think in an inordinate amount of time on it but just want you to be clear on it